natural selection in action. So, Elliot, what is natural selection? Well, Leah, it's when an animal that is better suited to its surroundings survives longer and multiplies, whereas other animals do not. But how does this work, Elliot? Well, Leah, when an animal has a quality that allows it to live longer, it will have more children that also possess the same quality. I think this calls for a project. Agreed. You will need 240 toothpicks in four different colors, a ruler, some colored pencils, a timepiece, a calculator, and some graph paper. The first step is to clear an open space in your yard and randomly throw all your toothpicks into it. Now take one minute to find as many toothpicks as you can, no matter the color. Each color of toothpick represents a different subspecies. An example of subspecies would be dogs, dingoes, and wolves, which are related but different from each other. The person searching for the toothpicks is the predator. Now sort all the toothpicks you found into groups of their color. Your next step is to figure out what percentage of each color of toothpick you found, and then make a bar graph about it. You can now ask yourself questions such as, Which subspecies was the hardest to find? For us it was green. Which was best adapted to its environment? That would be the same as the first question. What would happen to the species that was the least well adapted to its environment? They would go extinct as they would be hunted the easiest. And what of the one that was best adapted? It would get a larger and larger population. Yes, my project crew!